Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm Michelle and today I'm going to be doing a grocery haul. I haven't done one of these in a while so I thought it was time because I did Kroger. I will be doing Aldi later today and then I have a Target order coming tomorrow. So I'm going to combine all those and show you what I spent for pretty much a week and a half worth of groceries. So this is Kroger. If you're new here, we are a gluten-free family of five. My youngest daughter has celiac disease, so we are gluten-free for medical reasons. So at Kroger, I spent $160.63. So I'm going to turn you around and show you what I got. So this is everything I got. So we'll start over here. Eggs. <laughs> you can feel me on the price of eggs right now. This was almost $5. So I only got a dozen. I'll probably get another dozen at Aldi later. Got some almond milk on top of being gluten-free. My son and I are dairy sensitive, so we do almond milk. So we are gluten-free, dairy-free for my son and I. I needed laundry detergent, so I picked that up. This is what we use. My oldest daughter really likes the blood oranges, so I picked up some of those. Some organic mixed vegetables, some gluten-free organic chicken nuggets, and then organic broccoli. These are definitely all cheaper at Costco, but my nearest Costco is over an hour away. And I haven't been since probably stocking up for Christmas. So I think that makes a good point that these things are more expensive, but again, this is the options I have in the area I live in. So I got some avocados, they're 77 cents a piece. So this is the butter we use because we are gluten-free, dairy-free. My older girls and my husband consume dairy, so that's not an issue. These are gluten-free, these are for them. And then we are having pizza night next week, so this is for my son and I, it's gluten-free dairy-free, and then I usually get the gluten-free cheese pizza from Aldi for my girls and my husband. So I need some miscellaneous oregano. I needed pasta sauce. I stocked up on these bars because these are some of my kids' favorite. You will see I also got a Target order that has granola bars in it as well, but since they were on sale, I figured I'd stock up. We needed raisins. Again, these are much cheaper at Costco and organic, but you get what you can. So I picked up some chicken and then pork chops. This will be enough for two meals, so I'll probably divide that up and freeze one of, half of it. Some other yogurt for, this will probably just last us the week. We go through a lot of yogurt in this house. Some pasta noodles. This is by far the best gluten-free pasta noodles I have tried. And what I like is that they use a dedicated line for this, so I highly recommend those. We have taco night every Sunday, so I picked up some tacos, some tortillas. This was on sale again too, so this is really good. It's dairy-free, gluten-free, so everybody can have it. Uh, this is what we use for hand soap. We dilute it with some water, bananas, potatoes, apples. And then I was really excited to see this. If you're gluten-free, this is not news to you, but Oreo released a new flavor of gluten-free and it is mint, so I'm pretty excited about it. I'm debating eating it for breakfast, I won't lie. But that is everything I got at Kroger. And again, it was 160.63. So I just got back from Aldi. I spent 158.68 at Aldi, but I did get some non-food items. So I'm going to turn you around and show you what I got. A quick overview of the things I got. So let's start with the non-food items. So I picked this up for our Sunday school room actually at church. I thought it would be a lot of fun. It was clearanced out for $20. These are for Easter. That's why they're over here. Good. Keep them hidden. Next is food. So I really like these wraps for my sandwiches. So I got that for mostly myself, some decaf coffee. These are new, so I thought we'd give them a try. They are certified gluten-free and vegan, so dairy-free as well. My kids really do enjoy these. They are gluten-free. Bagels, plain bagels. My kids really like the cheese fruits. My two oldest and my husband do. And then for my son and I, we just get the dairy-free, gluten-free cheese. We need some popcorn. Right now, Aldi has some specialty gluten-free donuts. 
They, they prefer the cranberry, but they also have a pumpkin and a gingerbread variety, so I got two of those. These are clearly not gluten-free. These are for my husband to take to work. We don't bring, or we try not to bring any food with gluten in the house, so he keeps these at the freezer at work and eats that. Lunch meat, so this is my six-year-old's favorite. And then the rest of us really like this. Eggs, again, it was actually cheaper for eggs at Kroger. These were $4.99 and at or at all day they were $4.99. Kroger they were like, I wanna say $4.59. So they're actually cheaper. Got some salad and I was really proud of us. We actually finished the last version of this without it going bad. So I'm pretty excited that we waited through an entire container of salad before it went bad. Like I said, we're having pizza next week. So this is the gluten-free one I get from my kids. Some fruit, we got some organic strawberries, blueberries. We got some mangoes were on sale. We got some applesauce. The ham was 99 cents a pound. So as you can see here, it's gluten-free, but it was only like 10 bucks for this entire ham. So that was a really good deal. So that is everything I got at Aldi. So the last thing I got was a Target order, which was actually delivered today, which is pretty amazing since I ordered this online yesterday and the nearest Target's an hour away, but so I could do all this in one day. So I will turn you around and show you what we got. At Target, I spent $50.09. So this is all I got. So Target has these gluten-free bars. You can see they come in different flavors. And like I said, the nearest Target to me is an hour away. So I order them online when we run out and I stock up. And the nice thing is with a red card, you get free shipping as long as you spend over $35. So we have iced oatmeal cookie, blueberry muffin, chocolate brownie, cookies and cream, strawberry shortcake, chocolate chip. I did have someone ask our favorites in here. My 10 year old, her favorite's blueberry. My six year old, her favorite's chocolate brownie. My favorite is strawberry shortcake, but really they are all very delicious. And they are six, the 12 pack are $6.69 a piece. And you can't beat that for a certified gluten-free bar. These are a little bit more because it's the family pack or the value pack. So it's 20, so it's a couple dollars more, I think eight or nine dollars. But really it's a great deal for what you get. And between the bars I got at Kroger, this will last us well over two weeks for snack items. I also picked up this veggie straw, and that's just mainly because tar the Walmart and the grocery store by us don't have this variety pack. So they are certified gluten-free, and there's ranch, cheddar, and regular. My son, who is dairy sensitive, can eat the regular, and then my two older girls can have the ranch and the cheddar, and they really like the veggie straws that are flavored. So again, this is just snack items. So like I said, this will probably last us two weeks. I will, of course, probably next week have to go to the store for things like eggs, oh, the price, eggs again, and milk, and probably a little bit of produce. But most of the stuff is fully, we have some ground beef in our fridge or in our freezer that I can use up. So for two weeks, a gluten-free family of five, the total was $369.40. Now I try to budget around $300 for every two weeks and I did go over, but I did go over probably buying some non-food um, items. Like the basketball thing I showed you I picked up was $20. The other things for the Easter was probably another 25. So that, yeah, that probably is what put us a slightly over budget and that's fine it's okay to go over budget when you have money for it and they are things that will be used but this is everything we will be using for the next two weeks so if you have any questions leave them down below if not thank you for watching